Understanding the third conditional. A deep dive into hypothetical past. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to be focusing on a really interesting part of English grammar, the third conditional. This structure is all about imagining different outcomes in the past. It's used to express a situation that didn't happen and the possible result of this situation. So, let's dive in. First things first, let's define what we mean by the third conditional. This tense is used when we want to imagine a different past. It's about a situation that did not happen, and we're speculating about what the result would have been if it had happened. The third conditional is often used to express regrets or to criticize a past action. It's all about what could have been. The third conditional is formed using two clauses. The if clause, also known as the condition clause, and the main clause, the result clause. The structure is as follows. If clause, if plus past perfect, had plus past participle. Main clause, would have plus past participle. For example, if I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. In this sentence, the event did not happen, I didn't study hard, and I didn't pass the exam. But I'm imagining a different past where I studied hard and passed the exam. Remember, the if clause can come first or second. If the if clause comes first, we usually separate the clauses with a comma. Now, let's see how we can use the third conditional in practice. 1. Expressing regret. If I had saved more money, I would have bought that car. Here, the speaker is expressing regret about not saving more money. 2. Criticism. If you had listened to me, you wouldn't have lost your keys. In this case, the speaker is criticizing someone for not listening to their advice. Lastly, let's cover a few common mistakes people often make when using the third conditional. Don't use, would have, in the if clause. Incorrect. If I would have studied harder, I would have passed the exam. Correct. If I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. Always use, had before the past participle in the if clause. Incorrect. If I studied harder, I would have passed the exam. Correct. If I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. That's all for today's lesson on the third conditional. This tense can seem tricky at first, but with practice, it will become much more comfortable. We've learned how to form it, when to use it, and even some common mistakes to avoid. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try to use the third conditional in your own sentences. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.